Hi there, it's Lindsay back with another unboxing for you. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and I've also started sending some items into the Real Real. I've been selling on Poshmark since June and I do post videos every Monday and Thursday. So if you do enjoy uh, different unboxings and reseller content, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up. So today we do have another box to open and of course it's from Thread Up. This is either a designer box or a name brand handbag. They all came the same day from the same warehouse, so I'm not 100% sure. So we are just gonna go ahead and get started. And I should be able to tell as soon as we look at the invoice, which one this is. Okay, and this is the designer box. So if you've been watching my videos, you know this is usually my favorite one. Um, they're very hard to get, especially these days. So this is the last one that I have or that I have on the way. So I'm always on the hunt for another one though. So hopefully um, after this one, I'll be back with another designer one very soon. Okay, so here is a first look for you. And on the top, we do have a handbag and it's not a long job. So that is exciting. It is Todd's. And I have gotten a Todd's bag before. Um, this one is much different than the one that I got, but um, it's pretty cool. It's got some staining to it. Definitely something going on over here. So it, Certainly would need a cleaning, um, but the interior seems okay. There's no like foul odors or anything, which is good. Um, but I think it just needs like a major wipe down. So I don't really know what this material is. Um, so it can either be carried top handle um, and then it has a removable and adjustable shoulder strap. So you could certainly wear it crossbody too. I love when a, a bag has a strap that's removable just to give you more versatility. So I don't know if there's, I'm sure there is a tag in here somewhere to kind of show what the material is, but I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's leather. Um, but it's kind of like a pewter metallic. Um, and you know, the stains certainly kind of blend in, but I'll have to work on it a little bit and see if we can get some of that out. Um, cause it's kind of gross, but not bad. That's kind of cool. I, I like it. So no idea what that might comp for, but I will look into it. And we have some clothing, it looks like, and some glasses. So let's take a look. This is the, the Koopies or the Copals. I haven't heard of that before. And this is a short sleeve, a uh, little button up here. And uh, it's a medium. And it's got like a little bit of a leather trim and it's, it's like a dark royal blue, I guess it is. And this is 100% cotton. So it looks like it's in good shape. Let me know if you know anything about that brand. Um, definitely looks like it's a woman's shirt. Um, so that's, that's not bad. Whenever you can get the clothing that's in good shape, that's that's always exciting. It can certainly be hit or miss. Next we have Tom Brown, and this is kind of cute. It's a you know patriotic red, white, and blue little short sleeve sweater. And it's got a little button detail on the bottoms and this cool fabric little um strip that peeks through at the bottom and this one I'm trying to see if it has a size it's 
says Tom Brown, New York. It's made in China. It's 80% viscose and 20% nylon. So it doesn't look like it's super amazing quality, but it's in good shape. I don't see any holes or snags or anything like that. So, I mean, that's, that's cute. I mean, especially for Memorial Day or 4th of July with some white jeans or something. So that's cute. And so we'll do one more clothing piece and then we'll move on to the glasses. Um, this is Pia Mita and it's a size small. And it's a tank um, and it's got some um, foliage and some monkeys on it. That is cute. Um, it zips up in the back. And again, this one looks like it's in good condition. That would be really cute, you know, like resort wear. And there might be a snag or two on it, but it's nothing too crazy. This is silk made in China. 98% silk, 2% spandex. So I'm not familiar with that brand, but it's really nice quality with it being silk. Uh, it feels very nice. So that's cool. And we will move on to the glasses. So I've gotten quite a few pair of glasses. I have a pair of Todd sunglasses that I'm keeping and a pair of Chanel, just regular eyeglasses. Um, and then the others I, I have for resale. So this one will be for resale also. So we'll see what it is. Oh my, these are Chanel sunglasses. Maybe these won't be for resale. Um, let's see, of course we have that tag in the way. So these are brown and there's definitely some wear to them. You know, a little bit of chipping on the metal. And these, you know, I like that they kind of wrap around a little bit on the sides. And they don't really seem to be scratched. There's no prescription in them. They're just regular glasses. I mean, anytime you can get Chanel, it's never a bad thing. <laughs> um, those are cute. And the nice thing about the glasses is there's always the style inside, so they're easy to look up. Um, but again, they're not in great condition um, there. But otherwise, you know, there there is some scratching, but I, I didn't notice it when I had them on, but there definitely is some scratching to the lenses. So uh, yeah, we'll take a look at those, but not bad. And next we have a pair of shoes and these are Prada and they're another pair of patent leather. They almost look like little tap shoes, but uh, they're not just a rubber, you know, bottom and they say Prada here lace up and these are a 38 and a half. And they, the interior is in really good condition. You know, there's definitely some scuffing and scratching on the leather, but nothing crazy. This one's a little bit worse. There's a mark here. So I probably won't do anything to try to clean these up. They'll probably just go as is because I would hate to make them worse, but if you do have any tips on cleaning patent leather, please feel free to let me know. But that's not anything too bad. You know, it's just in that one area. Um, so those are pretty cool. And lastly, we do have a sweater. And this is from uh, Acne Studios. I have gotten this brand one other time and it actually sells for a lot. Um, I did send the other item into the real reel. Um, so this one is in better condition than the other one that I got. Um, it's cute, it's got a little 
like a patch here with whatever their logo is. And it's really soft. It's a green and white striped. And this is, I'm trying to see, if, oh, it's a large. Okay. So certainly, you know, more like a small, but it's not, you know, it's not super tiny, um, but it's, it's definitely more of a fitted sweater, not oversized. But uh, in general, it's in pretty good condition. I mean, there's, there's a little bit of pilling, but nothing wild, and I don't see any holes or stains. So out of the clothing pieces, I think this is probably the best, um, you know, especially season-wise. And, you know, like I said, the, um, the comps on the Acne Studios is pretty good. So we have that for number one. We have the um, monkey um, tank, silk tank for two. We have the patriotic little sweater for three. We have the blue um, polo with the leather trim for four. So that was it for the clothing. And then we have the Prada patent leather shoes for five. We have the Chanel sunglasses for six. And uh, let's see here. So one, okay, so that was four clothing and then five with the shoes, six with the Chanel sunglasses, and then five with the Todd's handbag. I thought I was shorted one, but there was actually four clothes. So um, again, I don't think this is an amazing box, but there's some cool items in here and some new to me brands in terms of the clothing. And the Chanel, even then, that condition, you know, should still be worth something. So overall, I think this was pretty good. Let me know what your thoughts are. What was your favorite item? And I'm going to do my best to try to get some more designer boxes um, for you guys. Because um, there's just so much potential with these. You just never know what you're going to get. So thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you back on the next one. Have a great day.